So what's up guys hope you are doing well welcome back to TechMesh. In today's video we will be addressing a common issue that many Windows 11 users have encountered the settings app not opening. If you have found yourself in this frustrating situation don't worry we have got you covered. Stick around us as we walk you through a step by step guide to fix the Windows 11 settings app not opening issue. So you have clicked on the settings icon. And nothing happens a frustrating experience right this can occur due to various reasons including system glitches corrupted files or conflicts with third-party applications let's jump right into the solution i would suggest you to please hit the like button also subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for more future videos like this one so let's get started shall we so i will show you a couple of method so i will highly suggest you to try each of this method and check which one work for you because some method might work for one person and one method might work for others so try all of this method and after each method try to restart your computer and check if your system app is working or not all right so first just go to your windows search and here type for windows powershell and then just right click on your windows powershell application here and then click on run is administrator so without running it as administrator then the command won't be executed so make sure that you run your windows powershell as administrator so now first we will try to fix some corrupt files so i will first use this command the command will be also available in the description below you can type it or you can directly copy and paste it like i am doing here so after pasting the command sfc space slash scan now then press on enter so here it would like start scanning your system and then here it is saying there is a system repair pending which requires reboot to complete restart windows and run sfc again so here it is suggesting to restart your windows after executing this command try to restart your computer and then follow the next command so now let's copy our next command so this is our next command dism space slash online space cleanup image space restore health so let's copy this command and now let's paste this command again and then let's press enter so here you can see it is saying deployment image servicing and management tool so wait for a bit and be patient and let the system do its job it might take a couple of seconds only so here you can see our command was successfully executed so now we will move on with our next command so now we will try to reinstall settings app all right so i will now move on with our next command so this is our next command so by this command we will try to reinstall our settings app so let's copy this command from our description and let's paste it here and then let's press on enter you might find some errors but don't worry just execute this command so here it is saying operation completed so we have completed this operation now i will move on with our next command so let's try our next command the command will be also available in the description as well so let's copy and paste this command and then let's press on enter so here you can see the command is executing so you might find some error because some packages might face some error but don't worry let the system and let the command do its job so here you can see our command was executed successfully our command was completed and after completing your powershell commands then i would highly suggest you to restart your computer and then try opening your settings app again and check if this solved your problem or not okay now let's move on with our next step the next step is to enable settings so just go to your registry editor and after coming to your registry editor then here just you need to go to this location so here you can directly copy this location from your description and after copying you need to paste it in this address section here so just click on here and then click on paste and then just press on enter so here you can see this is our policies folder so the, our policies folder is now selected and under your policies folder you should find a folder called explorer so if you cannot find the folder explorer right click on here and then you can click on new and then you can click on key and then you can name the key to explorer so as you can see we have already found the folder so if you cannot find your folder then you can name it to explorer like you can see i am doing here so as we have already have an explorer folder so i have just selected it then just right click on empty space and click on new and then here you need to click on d word 32 bit value and now here we need to name it to exactly as i am typing all right don't put any space here so type no control panel so here 
just click on here and you should change the value data to zero so here we are like changing the value data to zero so the file name we have created no control panel so let's close it now and now let's step which is to update your system if all of this step didn't work for you then you should definitely try to update your windows systems and check if you have any pending update then i would highly suggest you to update your windows and check that after updating if your setting app is working or not the last step is to reset your pc if all of this failed for you then go to your windows search and search for reset this pc and then go to your reset option and here you can find reset pc so if you reset your pc then all of your existing application will be deleted but you, your problem should be fixed so this is the last resort try all of the previous step first and if all of this fail then try to reset your pc and check if it solved your windows settings not opening problem or not so that's it this was a quick tutorial on how to fix the settings app not opening in your windows 11 or windows 10 if this video helped for you then don't forget to hit the like button and please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for more future videos like this one if you have any question or any suggestion then let me know it in the comment section below i'm mash from techmash and i am signing out